Hi guys, in this video tutorial I want to quickly talk about the use of listing packages and membership packages within your premium press themed website. Now just to quickly state the difference, a listing package is where the user pays a single price to list a single item on your website. And a membership package is where the user subscribes to your, mem to your website as a member and as part of the membership they can submit multiple listings to your website. So if you try to think of it as a per listing or multiple listing kind of scenario, a per listing package allows the user to submit a single listing and a membership option would allow the user to submit multiple listings. And that's kind of the easiest way to think about it. It's worth pointing out actually at this point that you don't need to use both options on your website. Some websites might want to charge users a per listing only. Um, and they might not want to allow users to submit multiple listings. Where on the other hand, some people might not want to charge users per listing and they might only want to have um, memberships and allow users to submit multiple listings. Don't forget that the content you see in front of me or in front of your website is the demo content, so it's there for display purposes. Um, so don't feel obliged to use both options if you don't need to on your website. Now you'll actually notice a slight difference in the way the users will actually pay for each one. Um, a per listing package the user pays for at the end of the actual listing process. So the user would create the listing, verify it looks the way they want it to be, and then they actually pay for it. Whereas a membership package, obviously they're going to pay up front because they're joining and subscribing to your website. Um, so they would pay for the membership now and as part of the membership they can submit multiple listings. So that's a slight difference in the way the users pay for um, each of these. So let's have a look in the admin area and see what the differences are between the actual setup of listing packages and membership packages. So in the admin area we're going to be clicking on theme options and we're going to be scrolling down to the actual listing setup page. Now here we have three tabs. We've got custom fields, listing packages and membership packages. So if we start with listing packages, now don't forget a listing package is where we submit one listing to your website. So we can create by adding uh, by clicking on the add package or we can edit and remove them by using the action buttons. If I just quickly show you some of the options, we can add, add an image, a title, a subcaption, a price, obviously the display order, the listing length, which is the number of days before the listing expires, the package description, so you can obviously fill in as much detail as you like there. The option to submit multiple to multiple categories, so you can allow the user to, to add to multiple different categories on your website. User uploads, obviously refers to uh, media uploads, and uh, listing enhancements. And this is the options we've added in that allow you to attach on um, some of the listing enhancements as part of the package price. So if you actually clicked any of these, then that would be included in the actual price you've set here. So if we're looking at the uh, listing enhancements, a listing enhancement is basically an additional option that you can, uh, the user can pay an extra fee for, such as highlighted listings, Google Maps, HTML listing content, etc. And just as things were getting more complicated, we've added another option for you, uh, which is an extra price per category. So for your premium categories, as it were, you might want to set an additional price. So you would just click on it, set the price, and then click on save. And then if you go on to another one, 20, save. And to preview it, just click on and you can see the value is there again. Once you refresh the page, obviously any additional prices that you've added will be there as well. So the basic concept of a listing enhancement and the price per category options are an additional price to your existing listing packages. So rather than complicate things too much with a listing package, we've tried to separate them slightly. So you've got your listing packages, which your core elements are obviously your price and the listing length. And then obviously you can attach the number of uploads and categories. And if you really want to, with the listing packages also, you can obviously um, bind in some of the listing enhancements with them. So the user can um, get some of the enhancements without actually having to pay anything extra. Or if you don't and you want to keep it nice and simple, you can just create different packages for different time periods and a different price, and then the user can choose if he wants to pay extra for any of the listing enhancements. So that's the kind of basic setup for the listing packages.
Now, if we take a look at the membership packages tab, um, we have the options here to obviously add new memberships um, and using the action buttons to edit and remove memberships. Now, obviously, a membership is the uh, mem the user subscribes to your website as a member. So not joining the website as a member, they actually subscribe. So they're paying a subscription or a, or a fee for using certain services. And as part of that service, they can then submit multiple listings. So if we look at your uh, membership options, if I click on add new membership, for example, we have the image, so we can add an image, a title, a subcaption, and a price, a display order, um, a membership description, so you could add anything in there that you want. Um, we have a membership length, which is the number of days that the uh, membership is valid for. And as part of that uh, membership, any subscription, um, sorry, any listings that are created under the membership will be valid for the same um, length as the membership. So if a user submits, submits a listing, for example, um, and their membership package is valid for, say, 60 days, then the, the listing will be valid for 60 days as well. Um, the free submissions, um, this option here is where you set how many um, listings the user gets as part of this membership. So if your uh, membership is for a year, then you probably want a few, you know, maybe 100 or 200 listings. Um, if it's only for a week, then maybe five or six listings, something like that. Um, the listing enhancement option at the bottom lets you bind in again some of the uh, listing enhancement as part of the actual listing submission. So if um, you want this membership package to include free H um, HTML listing content, um, all of the listings to be top of the categories, all of them to include Google Maps, etc., etc., you just uh, click the appropriate boxes. Now the other side of the membership packages is that um, you have this restriction option. So if you're running on a blog as alongside your website, um, you might want to restrict content um, or different elements or downloads or etc. Um, to different membership types. So for example, if someone joins um, membership one, um, you might give them say five or six download links. Or if they join the membership two, they might be able to give them you know seven or eight download links. Um, just a different idea that membership um, different kind of difference between a membership and listening package um, whereas you know obviously the listening package is per listing and the membership applies to the actual user's account so it's kind of a, um, a global within their actual account. Uh, and finally we've got the custom fields tab um, and this is where you can add on your own custom fields for the user to enter as part of the listing creation. So if we have a quick look at the front end, um, as you can see, we've got listing packages. So if I create, if I clicked on the uh, package one, I can see we've got title, description, category, and the website link. Now in the admin area, obviously we've got this website link here, and this is because we've created this field for website link. And here you could add anything: phone numbers, address, Twitter accounts, Facebook accounts, etc. Um, and what it does is obviously it provides a, um, an input a element to your um, submission form for the user to fill in more details. Um, so we've left it um, fairly basic. So the basic concept is a title, a description, and a category, because that's the kind of the core elements that WordPress provide uh, require, um, and everything else that we've we've allowed you to kind of add on as part of the uh, field creation options in the admin. So if I create a quick package, uh, sorry, I create a quick field and uh, um, and show you how it works. If we give it a name, description. Um, what is your name? So this kind of helps the user um, decide what to input. For the name, we're going to use an input box, but there's different options such as text areas, check boxes, radio boxes, etc. Now we can assign it to a package and assign it to a membership. So, um, so what we can do here is, if we're only using mem uh, packages, we assign it to a package. So it means that this field would only be displayed um, for those um, using package one or package two or package three, etc. I can assign multiple just by clicking on a multiple, um, or I can just assign one just by clicking on the one. And it's the same with memberships. Um, you can choose which membership it would appear to as well. Because obviously if people are subscribing to your website as a member um, and joining a membership, then they actually skip the process of selecting a package because it's part of the membership. So here you can assign it to the membership as well. And the database key, now this is the most important because obviously this is the actual value that's saved in your WordPress database. So try and keep it um, relevant to the content. So in this case, I was going to give it the word name. And I usually like to keep these lowercase because that way then they don't get confused later on. So I'm going to be calling this key name. I can choose a display order, so I'll just have it as one. And I can uh, create it as a required field if I want it to be, which will prompt the user to in enter an input value. So there we go. We can see there we've created it. It's called name. It's a required field. And if I go back to my submission page and I click on create listing, 
if I scroll down as you can see now I've got this name field here um, with what is your name as a description and obviously when I fill in this as part of my listing process um, I would then enter my name in here